Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I want to show you how to customize your headers so that you have a different design for desktops, tablets, and mobile devices. So let's take a look quickly and uh, let me show you what this looks like. So if I take a look here, this is what the design looks like for my main desktop. But now let's try and simulate this and uh, drag this smaller. So you can see now this is what it looks like on a tablet and our menu here also works. It's above all my text here, which means it's easier to navigate. Now let's go further down and simulate what this would look like on a mobile phone. So if I go all the way down, there we go. So here again, if I click on this drop down, everything is above my text here or my content. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to uh, talk about my special offer. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites from scratch. So this course will take you from basic to pro. It's very, very uh, detailed and it covers pretty much everything that you need to know about web design. The link to that is in the video description below. Once you've bought Divi, just drop me an email or head over to funnels income.com on the support tab, just send me your receipt number or you can just attach your, your receipt in there and I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go straight to our theme builder because this is where we need to design our header. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme builder. So what I've done ahead of time is I've just gone in and added my basic header. So if you wanna learn how to design this from scratch, I have a few videos where I show you how to design this header from scratch. But this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to have different headers for mobile devices. Okay, so let's just take a look at what the header looks like. So here it is here. It's, you know, it's very basic, you know, nothing complicated here. And um, you can see here the logo is quite small. Now I heard uh, quite a few people like uh, asking me how they can resize this logo. So what you need to do to resize it is first you wanna go into um, edit here to edit your main uh, header. So once you go into, into that, then the next step now is to actually go into the, um, the, the image of the header itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. Now, if I go over here to design and sizing, this is where I can play around with my sizing. So you can see here, I'm making it bigger. If I go all the way to 100%, you can see now the logo is nice and big. So this is where you make all your changes. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a quick save here. Uh, but you know, looking at this, I can see this is a bit too much, you know, so uh, let me go back and uh, reduce that. And that's the beauty of uh, designing everything here in, um, in the theme builder, because you can always go in and make your adjustments and your adjustments here are applied across your whole website. All right, so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save this one more time. And now, if I go to my site and refresh this, you're going to see that our logo is slightly bigger and that looks much better. All right, so we can see here on the desktop, this logo, or oh, this header looks okay, it's fine. But if we take a look at this header now on a mobile device, you can see here things are a bit, you know, messed up. And let's head over here to the mobile. Again, you can see things don't look really, really well. And if I were to go on that drop down and uh, take a look at the drop down, you're also going to see that that's not going to look great. So the goal here is to create different headers for different devices. So what I'm going to do here just to make things easy for me is to duplicate this a few times. So I'm going to do one, two, right. So now that I have these three different type of headers, I'm going to go into the first one. Okay. So I'm going to go into section settings here. In fact, you know, we might as well switch to the front end. So these are our three headers that I've just duplicated. Okay, so right now I'm on the first one. So I'm gonna go now to advanced and then on visibility, I want this to, I want to disable on phone and tablet. So that means this header can only be seen now on desktops. Okay, so that's the first change. I'm going to save that. And now I'm gonna go into the second one. So I'm gonna click here. And now I can go into design, advanced, sorry, visibility. 
And here on visibility, I'm going to go in and disable this on the desktop and on the phone because I want this to only show on tablets. So now that I have that all set, I'm going to save that and I can go in now onto this, this design and start working on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and go into my columns here. So I'm going to click here on this uh, tool. So over here on the right, when I'm on my tablet view, I don't really want to show these social media icons. But of course, in your case, you can decide what you want to do with your design. So in my case, I don't want to have that. So the idea of this exercise is to show you how you can customize all your headers. Okay, so I've got rid of that. And also, I want to go in and change my... Um, my logo here, because I don't want this logo to show on my tablet. So I'm gonna go in and delete this because I have a simplified version of my logo and it's gonna be here on my desktop. So let me see, there we go. So it's the icon only. So all I need now is just the symbol of my logo. So that's what I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna click upload an image and then I can go and uh, resize this by coming over here to sizing. And then I'm just going to reduce this all the way down to, I'll say 24% works fine. So when I'm on the tablet, this is what's going to show. Okay, that's great. I'm going to save that. Now, uh, I know I've duplicated this three times. I'm just going to get rid of this one here and then duplicate uh, this one right here because then I don't have to go in and add the logo again. All right, so for this one here, the third one, I want this to show on mobile devices. So I'm going to go into my section settings i'm going to click advanced and then here on visibility i'm going to say disable on desktop and tablet so this one here is only going to be on my phone all right so that's looking great i'm going to save this now and i can go in now and customize this uh, main menu here and here on the main menu i know that on the phone it's going to have those hamburger icons so now i'm going to go in and fix that so I'm going to come over here to design and I'm going to go to layout. So here it says left aligned. I'm just going to center this. Okay, that's what I was looking for. All right, so now that it's centered, the next step now is our drop down menu. So here on our drop down, I can go in and customize my colors however I want my colors. So let's say here on the drop down background color, menu background, I can set this to white and then here on the drop down line link. So these are all the colors that I can use on my drop down and they will look really, really cool. Okay, now the next step is I need to look for my icons here. So if you have a shopping cart, you can come over here and uh, customize all your shopping carts. But what I'm looking for here is the hamburger icon. And it also has my really dark color here. And on the font size here, you can also adjust this is if this is a bit small. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over here now and take a look. So you can see now that my hamburger icon here, this, this is how it looks like. And um, if I click on that now, it has a background and I can uh, hover over here and see where exactly everything is. Over here, this is what the, um, the mobile, I mean the uh, tablet view looks like. And again, if I click on the drop down, this one here, of course it won't show because uh, I have this one here on the bottom. But of course, if I am uh, taking a look at this on different devices, it's gonna show differently. Okay, so this is how it looks on these uh, devices. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I may want to maybe move this over to the right because this doesn't look uh, really nice. So I can go over here to, to our menu layout. Instead of having it centered, I'm just gonna say left aligned. So it's better over here on the right. So now if I save this, and let's just switch over here to the desktop. I'm gonna save this one more time. So now, I can even go further and say, oh, you know, on the tablet, I want my background color here for my header to be different. I can go in here and change that color for the background for that particular view. So let's go in and add a very light gray here. There we go. So, so that you can just see the difference. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to save this one more time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our website. 
So if I refresh now, this is what it looks like. In fact, you know, I can uh, right click here and inspect. I think that would be an easier way to do this. Okay, so here I have my different uh, devices. So you can see here, this is what the uh, tablet looks like. But of course, I only have only two. I wish I could have the three of them. But on my drop down here, uh, I've just noticed that I have transparency here on the background. So this is something I can go ahead and fix right away. And also my logo here doesn't look right. So that just needs to be sorted as well. So let's go back. And uh, over here, I am going to go into the menu. And let's go over here to our design. Okay, so drop down. Drop down uh, menu background color. Let's set this to, okay, we can go with white. In fact, this looks okay. But now I need to work on my positioning and adjust my Z index. So I'm going to bring it all the way. In fact, sometimes I just put 999 so that this is above everything else. And I think this is what the problem is. So let's save this. And uh, we're going to save this one more time. Now let's take, in fact, you know what? We need to do the same over here as well. Let's go in and fix this. So we're going to go in here. Advanced, position, let's add our Z index. Okay, I'm going to save this one more time. Right, so let's refresh this and see what happens now. All right, so now when we come to our website, if I click on this drop down, now you can see that uh, everything looks okay. I can go into my links here and it's much, much easier to go into my links. And that is looking great. Um, over here on the toggle, I don't see the uh, option for... Um, for tablets, but pretty much you can have an idea of how this is going to work. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look and see what those settings look like when I reduce my browser size. And remember, on the tablet, I added a very light gray on the header background. So let's go and take a look. So now I'm just going to simulate the size of our tablet here, and boom. Once it gets to this position, we, can, we have now this light gray uh, background here. And then if I continue going, there we go. So now this is the mobile version, okay? And the drop down is also working. It's above everything. As you can see, it's not covering everything uh, over here, just like how it was before. And the same should be also for the tablet. So here we go. If I click on that, everything is above and that looks great. So this is the best way to go in and make sure you have all your headers designed for specific views on your website. So I know I've been having a lot of questions on how we can do this. And uh, this, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. So just have a header, which is uh, specific for your desktop, a header, which is specific for mobiles, and then a header, which is specific for tablets. Okay, and one more thing, one more thing. Back over here, all the changes that we've made are going to be applied across the whole website. So this is how easy it is to use this template. So once you've done here, you can just close this and you can just save this and then your header is up and running. All right, if you like this video tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and uh, do follow me on my social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.